Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn, and this is my Purple Door Weekly Update. I missed last week because I was at the Homesteading Conference, Homesteaders of America, and it was a great conference. I got to speak, and so many people showed up, and I just appreciate all of y'all who came. What fun we had. I'm glad to be back. Um, I've had a busy week. I was hoping it would be a little bit more restful, but it's been quite, quite busy. And I bet your week has been too. And so today, I'm just trying to figure out the next steps for the Purple Door, which is, if you haven't been watching, it's a little house that we have remodeled that we have on this new piece of property that we have now in um, Lowndes County. So anyway, I'm super excited to show you some open shelving today in the kitchen. So we're finally starting to, to complete the kitchen you know the last 20% is you know what takes so long to begin with I'm trying to pick out some appliances in fact I have a question for y'all in just a minute and in a minute I would like you to see that but first I want to show you something that I think might help you if you don't know how to find your style about 15 years ago, I started keeping folders of like any uh, magazines that I got that I, I loved the pictures in, and I started keeping these folders. And so ended up, at least with this much, I've got even more than that in this accordion folder that I'm about to show you. So when I'm working on a specific project, I will keep the things in here. I'll go through all of this, pick out colors. Um, that and, and I have recurring colors that show up. If you do this, what I'm telling you to do here, and you keep it, and you do it through the years, you're gonna start seeing recurring things that you like, like rugs and textures, and a lot of people like really clean. Well, in some of, most of my pictures, there's layers and textures and all of that kind of stuff, color. And I'm not just a one-dimensional, I don't like just plain white, apparently from a lot of these pictures, I just like, color it gives me comfort and I see that I like soft and cushy next to really hard um, you know wood so anyway um, I have found a couple of things that I want to do in this particular place and again I'm Stacy Lynn Harris I'm giving you an update on the purple door and I'm giving you a couple of tips how to find your style and also I'm hoping that everybody will know that your home is yours it doesn't have to look like a magazine. It doesn't have to look like somebody else's house. It's yours and it should reflect you. And when I married my husband, he's a hunter, and I, I decided that I would embrace every part of him. He's also an artist. He's a wildlife artist. And so we have a lot of his paintings hanging in the house. He really didn't want me to go buy a lot of paintings and stuff because he wanted us to paint them. So now all of my kids do artwork. I mean, it's pretty amazing what you do when you start creating your personality in your house and putting your stuff in it. And it's really, really fun. And plus, I mean, it's talking points. So if people come to visit, we can show them all kinds of neat things. Well, I'm gonna show you my accordion folder. And it just came from, you know, Walmart or whatever. And I've had this for a really long time, too. And it's just got different rooms on it. Studies, landscape, decor, I mean, materials, what I wanted to do, outdoor, den, bedrooms. And so I keep my favorite things in here. Now, one of the things, too, that you need to do always if you're doing a house is save your paint um, chips because sometimes the paint changes colors and you can never figure out what they are so go ahead and save it because they can match it when you go you know to get your your paint done all of these colors are like uh, federal style colors and they are in you know my home my other house and I wanted a house that you know reflected us and if you walk into my house in um, in my, my city house, um, it is just, it's pretty interesting. Right when you walk in, you'll get the idea that we value the values of the past. Um, that we, we do have really beautiful rugs and we have antiques, um, but we have pictures of old family members from like hundreds, about at least a hundred years ago. And we've got um, paintings that we've done. We've got educational books. We've got stuff on horticulture. We've got some canned goods in the kitchen and you just know what we do. We've got um, mounts on the wall. Um, we just, you will know what we are when you walk in. And I think it should be that way. Your house is your haven. Now here, today, you know, I found these things and I am so much doing 
what I had in my mind from 15 years ago in this space. It never has gone away. I have loved this forever and I haven't seen it in that many years. But this is one of the pictures that I found. Now, I don't have the bright green, well, I do have a bright green wall actually in the kitchen, but I have decided instead of doing open shelving that I'm gonna do um, a, a, a pole with S hooks and I'm gonna put my pots on it right next to the oven. On the other, I'm gonna have open shelving and on a wall that's that color. And then I'm gonna have a, um, a chopping block that I can move this on rollers that I can pull in the middle of the kitchen and back because this is small space that I'm working with. In the den, I like these two ideas and I don't know really what I'm gonna end up with, but I like this leather couch, but I like to have a little bit of fabric. I'm just a fabric kind of girl. I like leather, but I like fabric and then I like the wood and like a rustic wood up next to it. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or if I'll do something like this where um, it looks really, really comfortable and you could just take all of these cushions off and use it as a bed and have it um, in the corner. I've always wanted this couch. So maybe I can find it. I don't know, but I have a starting point because I have all these saved. So now I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about by doing art um, and, and letting that reflect your personality in your home. Outside, and I don't know if you, it, it may just be glare, but we had, we watched outside one day, we were sitting there, we took some pictures, took them home, and we decided that we would do, actually Millie, come here Millie, and show her yours, we would do these pieces of art, and we would do a bunch of them. I wanna have a huge cluster of a wall that has pictures of out here. So um, this was my take on it, and this was her take on it, and you can see the different personalities. Look at how dark mine is compared to her. I don't know exactly what that means, but, um, but it is interesting. And so I'm gonna, I would like to have you know, everybody do their take on that same spot and see how different they come out. And this is what your house should be like. Um, so anyway, so I've got my green wall here, the green goddess color from Lowe's, and we're gonna have another shelf right up here and this is gonna be white. I was gonna do wood because I really love that wood texture, but I think that it's just gonna to be too much. I just think I need it to be white. So we're gonna do the white shelving, have two shelves, have um, a, an island that I pull out, and probably another table so that when we have company, we can pull out another table and put them in different rooms, and we can enjoy a lot of company. So we have this Hoosers cabinet, which is another um, piece that's old and it's an old storage thing, but I envision in my mind's eye, my kids and, and eventually my grandkids cooking, you know, and, and helping me chop things here and here and over there and getting stuff. And then I'll be over here at the oven or at the stove. And if you have suggestions of a range or a refrigerator, I am looking for suggestions. I have a couple of ideas in my mind and I'm not quite sure, but I'd like to see if yours match up with mine. And I will do gas um, also with high BTUs so that I can get water boiling fast. I'm not patient and I don't wanna wait. So I have these um, antique light tiles up here. I plan on taking some of this color here and finding some pottery that has this color and putting it over on my green wall, it's gonna look amazing with that. And here is where I'm talking about putting that rod up here and then hanging with S hooks my pots. So they're just right here, right available to me when I'm gonna cook. I was gonna do shelves over here too because I thought it looked really cool, but I think that the pots are gonna be um, a little bit better to do right here. Plus it'll give you a different look and a different feel and it'll look like that picture that I was showing you earlier. So I am super excited about my kitchen. I cannot wait to start cooking in here and doing the videos, cooking something. Um, this week on the, tomorrow, I'll be releasing a video um, and I think it is pumpkin donuts. You won't wanna miss it. It's coming out tomorrow, probably around 11 o'clock um, on my Facebook page. Don't forget to check it. And if you haven't subscribed or followed, follow me and press get notifications so that you will get notified when the um, when my lives come out and when my um, video comes out. 
I'll be back next Sunday for another video. I will have the boiled peanuts up on the site probably tomorrow. I have a newsletter coming out. So if you haven't signed up for my website, it's stacylynnhairs.com. Go to the bottom of the homepage. There's a subscribe form. Subscribe to me and you'll get my newsletter. You'll get the boiled peanuts recipe. You'll get all kinds of goodies. And I think you get like some kind of major discount on one of my books um, once you sign up. So I hope that you'll do that. I hope you'll come back next Sunday for the next part of the renovation. Um, or we, I'm just super excited to show you what we're going to be doing next week. So we should have all of the shelves up. I may have my S hooks up. I may have new appliances, but I'm not sure about that. I may have to order them. And please leave in the comments what you think I should do that way and any recipes that you want for the upcoming holidays. I have a lot in my mind that I'm going to be doing, but, um, but I'd like to hear what you have to say. So I'll talk to you soon and I will, will answer the comments and I look forward to hearing from you.